Hi everyone and welcome back to the Organized Notebook. In this video, we're going to be going over how to make a portfolio website through Notion. Notion is a great tool for this because you can easily share your pages as website links. So let's get started. So the first thing you'll want to do is open an empty Notion page and let's go ahead and title this portfolio website. And for that, we can do something like, hi, I'm, and then your name. And then let's go ahead and do small text full width by going to the top right hand corner. And let's do empty page and let's add a cover photo. And for this, you can choose whatever photo you want that maybe represents yourself, but we're just going to go with a mountain as a placeholder. And reposition it. And now let's plan what we're going to do with this portfolio website. So obviously this is just a guideline and you can rearrange it however you want. But for the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to go with some kind of title or position underneath your uh, heading. So hi, I'm your name. And then you can put something like photographer, designer, whatever it is that you want to showcase with your portfolio. So let's do heading one for this. And you'll put your title or position here. And then underneath your title or position, it would be a good idea to explain yourself a bit and what it is that you bring to the table and so forth. So for that, let's put some placeholder text that is going to go underneath your title and position here. So let's copy this placeholder text, paste it in. And then this usually looks better when it's in italics and it's already in italics. So that's good. And then here comes the part where it's a good idea to make two columns. So on the left side, we're going to have some relevant information like contact information, links to socials and things like that. And then on the right side, we're going to have your portfolio and some of your current projects that you're working on now. So here, let's go ahead and type slash column. And we'll make two columns. And this site's going to be the portfolio. So we're just going to add that as a placeholder to keep track of your columns. And this site is going to have various call out boxes with relevant information. So let's make the left side first. So you're going to go slash call out. And that gives you a call out box. And we like to go with the default background so that you can get this kind of minimal style. And here we're going to put our address. So let's go with something that would show your address. So maybe something like mail. And then you can put your address here. So that would be street, city, state, zip code, and country. And when you add lines inside callout boxes, you have to keep in mind that you have to press shift enter or it's going to go outside the callout box. So next we're going to put our linked social media accounts. So let's go ahead and duplicate this callout box like this and you can put here follow me at and then you can change this icon to something else so if it's social media accounts maybe a computer or the cursor And you can actually bold this so it's more eye-catching. And then you can put your social accounts. So, for example, you could have Instagram. You could have Facebook. You could have Twitter. You could have LinkedIn. And so on. So, these you can each highlight and then click link. 
and then you would put the link here for the site that you're linking to and it will make it a hyperlink and then underneath there let's put information on where you can be reached so for that we'll copy this i mean we'll duplicate this and here you could put your email address so let's go with mail and you could type your email address and for this email you could type something like contact me by email and you can actually link this into a direct link to an email and for that what you would do is to click this link just like the other links but then you do mail to and then two dots like this a colon and then you could do your email address and it's going to turn into a, a hyperlink to the email like this so this is very useful and then the other thing you can do is you can duplicate this one and now put your phone number so let's choose a phone icon and now you can put contact me by phone you could highlight this click the link button and then you can do tel tell dot dot and then you could put your phone number and it's going to make it into a hyperlink as well so these are some nice tricks to use on your portfolio website so that when someone accesses it they can immediately just click here and then contact you by email contact you by phone so now let's actually go to your portfolio section so here you're going to put any recent projects or current projects so we could put current projects and of course if this doesn't apply to you you don't have to use this block here but we're just showing how you can add your current projects and an example so here we can do heading one or actually we can go with heading three so it's not too big current projects and then we will use bullet points to list your current projects so for that you can just type the dash and then space and it's going to make an automatic bullet list or you could do slash list so let's just copy this placeholder text again for your current projects and put like three projects here and that's it so already it's starting to look pretty good and now is where you can put your real portfolio so for that we recommend gallery view database so go ahead and type slash gallery view and you're going to get a new gallery view database so now you have a new gallery view database and let's call this portfolio and let's also rename this tab portfolio and we can go ahead and hide the database title so we're not doing anything really fancy with these database this database we're just using it as a way to show information so we don't really need the gallery the database title and then the card preview let's choose page cover so you can make some nice visuals by choosing nice card pictures for the cover photo and that's it so now let's actually add a space here so it's a bit better spaced and we can work on our portfolio so in the portfolio you can add things like testimonials You could add things like past projects and something like design samples and more. So it really depends on what kind of occupation you are doing and what kind of title and position you have. 
and that's going to determine what kind of things you're going to put into each of these squares. So if you're a photographer, of course, you might have different photography samples that you want to showcase. And so you would just title that there. And then next, what we're going to show you is that you can decorate this by adding cover photos. So let's go ahead and just add, since we have a mountain theme going on, some mountain photos. So we could have mountain photo here. We could have another mountain photo. And let's have another mountain here. So as you can see, you can add some nice visual effects by choosing some nice cover photos here. So now some things we recommend you in this portfolio is that if you go, for example, to testimonials, you probably just need bullet points or something like that. So you could just start adding whatever you want under here. And also let's actually delete these properties because we're not going to use them. So we can delete this and we can delete this. And so if you had testimonials, you could add them as bullet points, for example. And if you had past projects, maybe you want to add another gallery view inside this gallery view to showcase your projects. So for example, in that case, you would do slash database and then choose gallery view plus new database and since this is past projects you would name it past projects you could do the same here past projects and you could even hide the database title and show more cover photos so then you would have past projects and then this could be project one and so on. And then of course you have to delete these default tags and default properties. So now let's say we had past projects, you could just click here and then you see a gallery of your past projects. And if someone opened it in their full page, you would have a sort of nice page showcasing your past projects. So this is a good way to add more to your portfolio. And also another thing is that you can customize these icons. So the moment you put something inside a page, it's going to show this page icon. So instead you can put your own icon here just so that you have something there. So for this, we could just put a pin and here, maybe testimonials, we could find some speech bubble and so on so this is how you can customize this part of your gallery view and same with design samples you could also add the gallery view database inside here or you can also showcase various pictures by just typing slash image slash image and you could add photos here with descriptions you can also embed links. So here you could also design your page however you want. And yeah, so this is basically your portfolio uh, website and how you can make one yourself. And finally, we can also show you how to share this to the web, which is one of the most important parts. So to share to the web, all you need to do is go to the share button and then click publish publish to web. And then this page is already live on the web. All you have to do is copy the web link. And if you have the plus plan, you can choose when the link expires and so on. So it's that easy just to make a link out of this page and you can share it everywhere. If you'd like the completed version of this template, we'll leave the link to it in the description. Let us know if you have any questions, comments, or confusions about what we talked about in this tutorial. And we hope to see you in the next video.